Morning, everyone. I'm Ed Bates again from Kilworth Chiropractic Clinic, and welcome to today's Daily Dose. Um, so for years, we've been told that eating fat makes us fat and damages our hearts. Well, sadly, this was faulty thinking, and the demonization of fat began way back in 1953, when a guy called Dr. Ansel Keys published a paper comparing um, saturated fat intake and heart disease mortality. Now, his theory turned out to be flimsy, to say the least. He based his theory on a study of seven countries in which higher saturated fat intake equated to higher rates of heart disease. However, he conveniently ignored data from 16 other countries that didn't support his theory. And had he chosen a different set of countries, the data would have shown that increasing the percent of calories from fat actually would have reduced the number of deaths from coronary heart disease. In short, on the basis of his flawed research, scientists were essentially paid to blame saturated fat and not sugar as a major cause of heart disease. So people ended up following low fat, high sugar diets, thinking this was the healthy choice. And what's happened? Well, sadly, we've just got fatter and fatter. And as we have gotten fatter, unfortunately, we have gotten sicker, much, much sicker. And what have we been told? That it's our fault. It's because of our genes and that we should eat less and exercise more. Now, slight disclaimer here. I'm not a dietitian or nor a nutritionist. I am a chiropractor, but if I know anything, I know a little bit about what makes the body healthy. And as I said from my very first video, the purpose of these videos is not to tell you what to do, but rather to make you question things and to challenge your ideas, your beliefs, so that you can make more well-informed decisions and choices as regards your own health and the health of your family. So as the old saying goes, you are what you eat. Well, considering all the cells in your body, including your brain cells, renew themselves every five months, and some like your skin cells renew themselves every month. Your body therefore must have healthy food to enable these repairs. And simply, you need to eat lots of healthy fats to stay slim and to perform at your best. Your brain, for example, is 60% fat. It's actually the fattiest organ in the body, and it needs plenty of good fats to keep it running because it controls everything that you do. Why else would breast milk contain 54% saturated fat if it wasn't essential? Would nature be that cruel if fat was bad for us? I don't think so. Now, that said, not all fats are good for you. So tomorrow, we will go through the four types of dietary fat and talk about what's good and what is not good. We will also talk about something that is found in over 40% of all foods in your local supermarket that causes inflammation and contributes to heart disease and cancer, the two biggest killers in society. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a fabulous day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy.